exercise regularly, but still not seeing the results, well, genetics may be to blame. A new study finds that some people may carry an obesity gene. Those with the gene could be more susceptible to gaining weight despite routine physical activity. Joining me now is Dr. Rosie Chow. And see, people out there are going, I knew it. I'm doing everything right and I'm gaining weight instead of losing it. So this is amazing. It, they basically said they took people who have genes, women, mm -hmm. um, that put them at a high risk of obesity and they put them on the same workout regime as other women who did not have this gene. And the women with the gene gained 2.6 pounds. The women without it lost almost three pounds right, right. on the same workout. Yes, yes. How is that possible? That's not fair. No, it isn't fair. I mean, just some of the parameters that were a little bit... Um, slightly unmonitored and that was how much they ate. They tried to keep uh, track of that but the thing that they did really keep a close eye on it was the degree of exercise. They did high intensity resistance exercises, they did weights and uh, quite intensively actually uh, three times uh, a week for a whole year and mm -hmm. uh, the women in the high risk obesity group certainly did gain that weight. Uh, they gained weight and the lower obesity risk group actually lost weight. So did they gain weight because they were gaining muscle mass you think? No, they actually did measurements of their fat distribution okay. too. Now, the fat distribution in the high-risk group actually didn't change much, but the low-risk group, right, the people who are losing weight easily, right. they actually lost nearly three pounds in body fat. So it could be that the people with a certain genetic makeup or whatever it was, just that gives them the tendency to eat more. I mean, maybe it's unrelated to exercise. Um, it could be. I mean, like I said, they kept some sort of track of what they were eating, not st as strict as the exercise regimen. But it's true that um, exercise can affect the hypothalamus, and that was one of some of the pre uh, suggestions that how exercise impacts all these different hormones. Maybe in certain people, exercise makes them hungrier. Yes. Rather, yes. Genetic, yes. That could be the exactly. Oh, the, that's the, no good. The people with the low risk, they were thought to perhaps eat less. There you go. I always think that exercise makes me hungrier, so that would explain it. Um, also, um, before you go, I have to ask you about this one. New research finds that sleepwalking mm -hmm. is also hereditary. We're talking about what is hereditary right. here today. Right. Sleepwalking. So this was a, a study in JAMA mm -hmm. um, Pediatrics found mm -hmm. that 60% of kids who sleepwalk, mm -hmm. their parents were sleepwalkers. Yes, yes. I mean, there's been previous research in sleepwalking. They thought that they might have an autosomal dominant gene defect, but none of that's proven. I mean, the both the topics that we've been talking about today, the gene variations are small variations. There's not like a whole chromosome that's abnormal, a whole gene that's abnormal. These are variation in what we call SNPs, too detailed yeah. to go on about now, but there's a collection and it's a normal variation in a population. Yeah. Well, this was interesting because if both parents were sleepwalkers, that's when they found the kids yes. were likely to do yes. it too. Yes. Seems logical, but that yes. also tells you that maybe it's nature, not nurture, which yes. is what we're always wondering yes. about. Yes. Thank you so much. I love